In this problem, we want to find the composition of F, F and G, composition of G and F, and then we want to evaluate uh, the composition of F and G at 3. So let's take a look at this problem. We've got F of X is equal to 9X minus 1. And G of X is equal to 3X plus 2. Well, part A. want to find a composition of F and G, which is F of G. So we're going to take our F of X, and everywhere we have an X, we'll put in parentheses. So we've got 9 times parentheses minus 1. <coughs> now whatever's inside the parentheses right here is automatically what we're going to put in down here. Well, this is G, but G we said was 3X plus 2. So we'll put 3X plus 2 in there. Uh, 9 times 3 is 27x. Uh, 9 times 2 gives us 18 minus 1, which gives us 27x plus 17. <coughs> now B, we want to find the composition of G and F, which is G of F. We're going to take our G of X, which is 3x plus 2, and everywhere we have an X, we'll put in parentheses. So we've got 3 times the set of parentheses plus 2. And this is just evaluating functions, so whatever we have in the parentheses right here, which is f, is what we're going to put in right here. But f was 9x minus 1. Well, 3 times 9x is 27x. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3 plus 2, which gives us 27x minus 1. Now c. We first want to find a composition of f and g, and then we'll plug in 3. Well, this is kind of a continuation. We found a composition of f and g um, here in part a. So we're now we're going to plug 3 in for the x. So we've got 27 times 3 plus 17. Um, that's 81 plus 17, which gives us... 98. And those are our answers.